Hi everyone, this is Abhinav from Phone Bunch, and today we'll be doing the benchmarking review of the Moto X. This is the Indian retail unit. Let's get into settings about phone. From here, you can see the model number Moto X running Android 4.4.2. Android Info, you can see the same information and you have a 720 by 1280 pixels display. Some space is taken by on-screen buttons. You have an ARM V7 based processor running at 1.7 GHz with a Reno 320 GPU. It's called the Motorola X8 mobile computing engine as it has been customized by Motorola. You have 2 GB of RAM out of which 1796 MB is available to the system. At present 997 MB is free. You have 11.9 GB of internal storage out of 16 GB, which is not expandable. You have a 10 MP camera, it's called the Clear Pixel Camera by Motorola, and it can record 1080p videos. You also have a 2 megapixel front facing camera, which is also capable of recording 1080p videos. You have a 2200 mAh internal battery, which is not removable. You have several sensors, including an accelerometer, a gyroscope, a pressure sensor, a magnetic field sensor, an orientation sensor. A temperature sensor you can see the light sensor working right there then you have a gravity sensor display rotation sensor and you also have the proximity sensor and there are several health monitors as well including the step detector and step counter which can be used in fitness applications now we will run the Antutu benchmark we have fast forward all the benchmarks to get to the final results quickly so we got a score of 23,043 which is a really healthy score and it's quite close to the Nexus 5 and you can see the company also. It is just below the HTC One and the Galaxy S4 so you get flagship performance even though it has a dual code processor. So now we are running the Quadrant benchmark. Let's submit the score to get a comparison chart going. So you got a score of 8287 which is again quite close to the Nexus 5. Now we will run the Nina Mark 2 benchmark. It will test the graphics prowess of the Adreno 320 GPU. We got a score of 60.7 FPS, which is higher than the Nexus 5 and equivalent to the rest. Now we will run the single thread benchmark of Linpack. We got a score of 176, a very healthy score. It's inconsistent. We will run that again. So we got a score of 397, which is actually quite high. Now we are running the Velamo HTML5 chapter. One word about this, this test has not been optimized for Android KitKat yet, so it will get a low score, which you can see from right there, 1470. So we won't be counting this score, it's just for reference. Now we are running the metal chapter of Velamo, it will test the CPU, the processing capability, and we got a score of 802, which is a bit less than the Nexus 5. In the comparison chart, however, you can see that it's just below the Galaxy S4 and above the HTC One. So great company there and you get flagship performance from just a dual core device. So specs aren't everything. Now I have six fingers on the display and you can see all six are detected. Now let me put all ten fingers. And there you have it. It's a ten point multi-touch display. The Moto X delivers flagship level performance with just a dual core processor. That goes to say the optimization that has gone into developing it. And at a price point of Rs 23,999, you get a phone that can fight with the best of them available today, even though it might have lower specs on paper. We'll be back with lots more on the Moto X. Till then, you can watch its unboxing, Xperia even benchmarks, and the Nokia X12 and benchmarks as well. If you have any questions about the Moto X or any other device that we have reviewed, don't forget to ask in the comment section. Thank you and have a great day and don't forget to subscribe.